Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up a band called Matiel, if I'm saying the name right. And I, I tried to look up how to pronounce it. Uh, I'll tell you the story behind this, but first of all, I want to apologize for having to do another video outdoors. I have a dead webcam and I could have just gone out and bought a new one but it was under warranty you know it did cost a little bit of money so I'm getting a free replacement but that will take time so in the meantime we're doing this outdoors with a lot of ambient noise but I went to a cafe last week and I met a band manager and she has uh, managed several bands and currently manages a few bands including a couple that we've hit up on the channel Hi Kirby, this is for you, and she spent a good long time talking to me, probably 45 minutes, and I wanted to do this reaction as a thank you to you Kirby, and uh, so anyway, she made a few suggestions and I picked this band Mattiel, which is uh, actually Mattiel Brown, and uh, is it uh, jo Jonah, I think, anyway, it's a duo, I just forgot the name of the other person, but they're from Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to check them out. And here's a three-song set on a radio station. I'm probably just going to do the first two songs, and I've done a dive into the lyrics of those two songs. So let's go ahead and hit this up. I'll probably stop it uh, at least in between songs to help with any potential blocking. Thanks. And I'm going to light up a pearl. Hello. This is Mateel, and we are so happy to be here at WNXP 91.1. You couldn't kind of freak out if you double in, in, in this thing, and, and it's kind of been very hot, and it's, it's very, very exhausting. Weird and uh, bizarre, and uh, sure. I don't know how to make it essentially, except I've got, you know, full remember it blew it all over, and grease me up uh, all over with KY and John. Okay, not what I expected. This song is called Jeff Goldblum. Vibrato. I like the guitar tone. That guitar sounds great.
Yeah, I'll definitely pause between the two performances. So you got your pre-recorded mixed with your live. Nice shoes, by the way. Very nice shoes. Hmm. What a nice sustain on that guitar. So, you know, I was reading up on this band, and uh, by the way, I look a lot better with the ring light, don't I? Anyway, you guys are going to have to deal with it. Uh, so, some of the comparisons. So, they talked about uh, how Jack White has championed this band, and how there's a little bit of that garage rock sound of the White Stripes. I don't exactly hear it. Um, this is a, of course, this track is real danceable, so maybe it throws you for a loop a little bit. But uh, a little garagey in the guitar tones, sure. So I, I get that. I can see how someone like Jack White would be attracted to uh, Jonah's, uh, I think it's Jonah, his uh, guitar playing. But I love his guitar. And then I also read that Rolling Stone had compared her voice to Nico, and I disagree with that totally. Um, yeah, yes, she has an alto, and uh, maybe um, a little bit of a s straight delivery, but uh, very different tone in my in my estimation. And 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 I don't see, I don't see it at all. Come on, Rolling Stone, I don't get it. So she's got this vibrato when she. Uh, increases her intensity you know it's a smooth voice a smooth alto and then it it does that vibrato on her uh when she yeah bring well i guess i just said the same thing twice but really awesome i like her voice so uh, and one thing i'm going to say about the lyrics matiel i really appreciate the fact that you rhyme a lot of free verse now nothing wrong with that but she does couplets and she rhymes her words and we don't see a lot of that anymore, and I kind of like that. You know, I kind of like people who rhyme, so big shout out to her for that. But uh, this mix of pre recorded and live, we get the vocals and the guitar, we get to see what that's like. Uh, but very danceable song, I really enjoyed it. So the next song is called How It Ends, so let's get into that one. <laughs> Okay, more rocking, less dance beat. I'm looking at you and I'm walking on ice. Take a big plunge, wouldn't that be nice? Nice cool water running through my head. Never gonna see me coming up for air. I got a chain link fence wrapped around my feet. Waiting at the bottom of the pavement sheet. I saw a flash of lightning in my family and friends. That was how it began and this is how it ends. 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 Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Paid for my ticket and didn't ask for more. Besides a redwood casket and a crucifix. Loved by none and carried by six. Made a fool of myself for all of these years. You could see me fogging up the whole atmosphere. I'm never gonna have a second chance again. That was how it began and this is how it ends. So there is a little bit of a, just a touch of goth. Never went to church, but I pray to we'll talk about so I this. Guess I'm forgiven, even if I'm not. And they can take my gold feelings to relieve my debts. And the kitchen sink and the TV set. Apologies to everyone without a clue. I'll keep the gates open for the rest of you. And I can put a good word in for all of my friends. That was how it began, and this is how it ends. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. Now that all of my debts are paid, I'll be laid to rest and with the rest to lay. If 
few seats for the people coming after me. You can go back home, cause I set myself free. And God knows the getting was good for a while. Shovel that dirt to cover this pile and take a good look at these dividends. That was how it began, and this is how it ends. 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 Okay, we'll pause that. So there's one more song, and I'll listen to that one on my own. I'll tell you who she reminds me of, as uh, I think, if I've got this right. Not Nico, but I hear more of Susie Sue. And I think she, maybe uh, Matiel's a slightly better singer. Um, Susie could be, yeah, but... So to compare her to Susie Sue is, is, to, is not to say that she's an equal singer. I think Matiel's a better singer. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's who it reminds me of. It's got a little bit of the 80s in the vocals. That's where I get it, not so much the music. So that's interesting. That's interesting to get an 80s throwback in the vocal style. But more of, uh, like, like I say, I could see now the sort of garage rock duo concept here was more apparent here. So yeah, I like this quite a bit. And I like the lyrics and the guitar tone and I like her voice. I'm going to give a grade to uh, a B plus to this, which means I really liked it. Um, criticisms? Well, I don't know. I just uh, maybe maybe um, if I'm honest, um, I really like her voice. Her stage presence. Um, it's a little bit. I don't know how to. There doesn't seem to be, well, there's no audience here. It's in a studio, so it's a little bit hard to say. Maybe she's um, singing more like she were in the studio and not interacting with the audience, so it's a little bit hard to tell. But uh, a little bit of, um, yeah, just a little bit of a chill on the um, stage pr uh, presence, perhaps. Um, but, the, but just a little bit, I mean, to make up for it is the wardrobe here. These guys both have really interesting clothing and he's sporting that Richard Thompson beret and and so I like the look of the band quite a bit and uh, yeah it's live in the studio so it's hard to judge I would have to watch some performance of her in front of an audience to see you know what she's like but you know I like a lot of artists that you know when, when I saw Miles Davis in concert he didn't even make eye contact he just had his horn pointed at the floor and yeah, you know, so I've seen a lot of good shows with strange interactions, so that's not a negative. Uh, but it's just something I was thinking, so I thought I'd say it out loud. But I like the uh, I like her lyrics, and I want to say that there's a sense of humor, kind of a dark sense of humor. It kind of is right up my alley. So she's talking about I've I've paid my debts, and they're in the kitchen sink and the TV set, and she's just got these lyrics that I love, love, love. I like that kind of writing quite a bit. Uh, good stuff, Kirby, thank you. Uh, I hope this band is uh, successful. It looks like they are, um, uh, have got a decent amount of uh, followers on Spotify and I'm glad you turned me on to them. Good stuff. So as we say here in Mexico, buen dia. <laughs> 